What's going on everyone, I'm Alex and today I'm unboxing the Mlice M52 Red Note. Let's begin. What's going on everyone, I'm Alex and in this video I'll be unboxing the Mlice M52 Red Note. So this device costs about $145. Uh, I got this one from tinydeal.com It actually made it here in uh, two days So it was shipped Saturday and today is Monday So it made it here in just uh, two days By DHL obviously um, There should also be a tablet in here So um, I'll do that in a different video So as you can see it's uh, very well wrapped This device has the new generation processor and uh, it's quite impressive that they were able to sell this device uh, with a 5.5 inch uh, screen, 2 gigs of RAM uh, for uh, only $145 or something like that. So this is the device here, in here I have the tablet that I'll uh, unbox in a different video. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the box. So on the back of the device we have uh, some information about the device. So it is an octa-core processor, it's a 64-bit processor. This will be updated to Android 5.0, so Lollipop. It has a 5.5-inch uh, display. It's a 720p display, so it's not uh, full HD, but should be pretty decent for um, 720. Uh, it does support uh, 4G, so I do believe that it will work in Canada on uh, 4G. It has a 8 megapixel uh, front camera and a 13 megapixel rear camera. However, these are interpolated and it's actually 5 on the front and 8 on the back. It has uh, 16 gigs of uh, internal storage, 2 gigs of RAM. And the battery is a 3200 uh, mAh battery. But uh, let's go ahead and open this. This box looks uh, a lot like the box that uh, we had for the Mlice M9, I believe. I was quite impressed with that uh, phone at that time. This is the device itself, but uh, let's leave it aside for a bit. And let's see what else we have in the box here. So we have the manual here. Nothing uh, really special about the manual. Nobody actually reads uh, these manuals. We have the charging cable here or the data cable and we also have the charger here and we got the adapter for it uh, as well and that's all we have in the box so I'll leave this aside all right so this is the device this is a pretty big phone it's a 5.5 inch uh, screen so it's a pretty big uh, phone but uh, big phones are pretty, pretty nice. All right, let's uh, see how to remove the back cover first. So this phone comes in three colors, I believe, white, red, and uh, blue or something like that. I'm not uh, sure. I got the blue one. So this is the battery right here. You can see it says 3200 uh, milliamps. Hopefully it will uh, be able to last the uh, entire day. I don't believe they got the lollipop uh, update yet. All right, so let's take a look uh, behind the cover here. So we do have a double, uh, double SIM, so it's a dual standby device. The micro SD goes right in there. We have the IMEIs right here, uh, the model number, and this is the rear speaker right here. We have the camera right here, and this is the flash. It is built uh, really, really well, like it doesn't move, doesn't squeak at all. Let me put the battery in. It is a pretty big battery, and it is a pretty big device uh, as well. The plastic cover here, it's pretty shiny. It's a bit uh, slippery. I do believe uh, it will scratch easily though. These are the volume buttons and that's the power button right there. So 
So on top here we have the charging port and that's the 3.5mm audio. Let me see how to put the cover back on nicely. Alright. And at the bottom here we just have the microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, sticker of it. Okay, so um, that was like a screen protector. On the front uh, of the device we have the 4G logo. This is the speaker right here. Uh, the front facing camera, this is the 5 megapixel camera. It's interpolated to 8. There has to be a uh, proximity sensor and a light sensor somewhere in there. And the buttons uh, at the bottom here, I'm not sure if you can actually see them, they uh, are red in color and I do believe they uh, light up. But uh, let's go ahead and turn on the device. So this is exactly the same like the one uh, found on the Lice M9. This should be a really, really fast uh, device and it's on already. So as you've seen it uh, came on pretty fast. Well I can see the Play Store uh, right here pre-installed. The maps, the Gmail. Let's uh, check out the... So it's uh, running Android 4.4.4 .4, but uh, let me connect it to the Wi-Fi see if we actually have the Lollipop uh, update. As you can see the buttons uh, at the bottom do light up very nicely and uh, let's get back to the about phone and uh, check for the wireless update. So it says it's currently up to date, I'm not sure when uh, it will get the lollipop update. Other than that this is uh, pretty close to stock. Uh, Android, I mean it's very very light, uh, you don't have any added uh, features or anything like that. Um, I remember the Lice M9, you were able to double tap the screen to turn on. Let's see if uh, it works with this one as well. Screen gestures. And double tap. So... Yeah, it works. Uh, fine let's uh, quickly check out the camera a bit uh, blurry right there let's try that again So we can see pretty clear uh, everything in there. Alright, I'll do a full review in a couple of days after I uh, use this device. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.